three, two, one, mark. Just after dawn, about 8 a.m., a, a Terrier-improved Orion suborbital rocket shattered the quiet skies over Wallops Island. It carried experiments put together by students at four universities, including cameras, capsules, and a telescoping boom. But it also carried something else from NASA. The uh, payload used an experimental new recovery system that worked wonderfully. Here in the Atlantic, about 35 miles off the coast, WBOC photojournalist Dave Gordon set out with the crew of the Thomas Reed for the most important part of the mission, the recovery. 37 degrees, 36 decimal, eight minutes. And we are heading towards the last known coordinates of the payloads floating in the water. This, a blow-up way of taking NASA's missions further as the agency gets ready to find another way to supply the International Space Station. Visual on the bags, confirmed. We have a visual on the personal, on the flotation devices attached to the parachute to aid in recovery. It's straight ahead of us, 200 yards. And those flotation devices are working like a charm. The payload separated from the rocket, parachuting into the ocean. The crew of the Thomas Reed looked for the telltale signs, the green dye pack, bright parachute, and those simple water wings to keep everything from sinking. Now, the tricky part. Oh. Then, like pulling a huge prize fish aboard, aboard, the crew of the Reed managed to drag the 400-pound payload aboard for the trip back to shore and to scientists waiting for answers.